Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Minecraft. It's Sticks here and I keep making these pigmen mad every five seconds. They're not called pigmen, are they? No, I've got it wrong already. The piglins, these guys. They get very angry when I open the chests. So, you know, I've just gotten used to killing these guys whenever they're anywhere near me. Um, anyways, guys, last episode we worked on this random hallway here. And uh, today we're going to take a step away from this kind of stuff um, and step into more of a redstone mode because... Um, I don't want to say I'm sick of it, but I'm definitely sick of it. Of uh, just gathering up the crimson stems and the warp stems all on my own with the uh, with just normal tools and things like that. So I thought that's what I was looking for that whole time. I thought, you know what, guys, we need to automate this because we're we're spending a long time gathering up these blocks. So the first step to that would be getting ourselves, uh, getting our hands on the warped fungus and the crimson fungus. Are they called fungus or fungi? Let's 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 check this out. Here, yeah. you are a fungus, right? That's what I thought. Um, yeah, so we need to get our hands on that, and there is an automated way to do that as well. Now, I'm just not sure where to build this thing. So, the we want to build a little farm that gets the two funguses, and then in another episode, we'll build a farm that actually makes the trees, and we can get the lanterns and uh, the warp blocks and the, the trees and everything. It'll be fantastic. Now, I'm just thinking, where can we actually build this thing because. This build over here, uh, with the with the tunnels and everything, not the tunnels, with this this entrance hall type thingamajig here. Uh, this is all going to be more of a visual aesthetics type of build. It's not going to be any farms here or anything like that. That is not the plan for this area. So I'm thinking maybe closer to the base over here. We have plenty of room. Obviously, we have the uh, we, we have a lot of area over here. We have the bartering little thingamajig here. Man, things are definitely spawning in here. I don't know how. I might have to carpet on top of all this ice, which wouldn't be that bad. It would make it look pretty cool in here, actually. Maybe purple carpets go with the glass or red or something. I'm not sure anyway. I'm just sick of things spawning in there. Right, anyways, this is not completed here, as we saw last episode. We kind of ran out of time, so we may get on to that today. What is all this stuff? Oh, it's the rest of the uh, items that I got out of here. This little guy is still in here. He's holding on to a piece of gold. Interesting, that's why he's not despawning. Okay, well, he can just hang out in there, that's alright. Um, anyways, guys, what was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought again. Yes, over here somewhere we can build a farm. Now, each of these wings um, is going to have uh, the, a little area down below like that. So, maybe we could build it on another one of these. I'm not too sure. E each, uh, each side of this nether hub, so we've got north, east, south, west. And down here is going to be a little area. If we look back into the middle here, where I'm going to put the respawn anchor, we're going to clear all this out and make it look much nicer. And we'll respawn out of there and then be able to head off in whichever direction we want to. Uh, so this one has the bartering. So maybe on another side... Hello, friend. Hello. How's it going? Maybe on another side we could put um, in this farm. But anyways, I need to design this little farm first. So it's going to need bone meal. It's going to need a shifting floor, I think, and maybe a collection system. Or I could just run around in there with an empty inventory and pick it all up. That that would be pretty easy, I think. And just have like a random normal storage system that I can sort myself. Because there's going to be a lot of items coming through. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe Maybe we go for the full item sorter. That'd be pretty cool, I think, actually. Okay, let me... I think what I'm going to do, guys, is go into a testing world and uh, try this out. Let's do that. That'd be fantastic. Let's get some work on a testing world. Alrighty, guys. So we're in the testing world, and we have the first part here laid out. Let's just stick some levers on here and here. So what's going to happen, guys, is this floor is going to pulse back and forth like this, and then as soon as it does that, it does that like that. And, ooh, that activates this down here. We're going to have to change that. Uh, you can stay there, but you can go there instead, my friend. Uh, you're facing the wrong way, however. Um, hang on a second. We'll place you there and place the sticky piston underneath so that we're not powering that. Uh, that is not low enough. It is silly building things in the air, guys. It really is. Right, then we can place this down here with the lever on it here. Oh, no, that wasn't the right place. I'm stupid. Okay, anyways, ignore me. Let's place that there, and then there, and then place that there. Okay, that will switch the bone meal on like that. That will give it a nice fast clock. I don't know if that's using any bone meal. No, it's not using any bone meal right now. 
because uh, there's already a plant on top of that. Okay, so we can have that going as fast as possible. And then when we shift this floor back over, it breaks everything and then it moves the red one on top. What is this stuff called again? Uh, crimson Nilium and the Warped Nilium. So we have both there. Let's just quickly turn that off. That's very loud. So as you can see, we can pulse these floors. That will turn off. And this will pulse and it will break everything on it and then we can just sort of run around and get it all but i think i'm going to place the water system in because i think that'll be really cool so we'll have water running from over there i think we'll put blocks in here to stop water right along here like so and yeah so that's going to grow out from there so every time it's going to do there is there is the dispenser full of bone meal underneath here and then it's going to shift this block on top so you get both types of fungus and everything so that's pretty cool now we just need to figure out a way to wire this up so that this pulses oh like that you can give them just a one tick pulse that's fine that pulses and then this pulses and this needs to be on as well when we turn the whole farm on. So how are we going to do that? Um, also, there's going to be a water collection system. If it's in the nether, we can't do water. Um, okay, that complicates things. If we do it in the nether, we're just going to have to run around and pick everything up. So we may actually have to build this in the overworld. So I'm going to move into the overworld, actually. This is, this is silly. What am I doing? Okay guys, I couldn't quite get my own design to work, so this is Il Mango's design. Link will be in the description. I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm not going to have this here. Uh, just in the middle here, he's got two crimson blocks and you can swap them out. Uh, so, sorry, two warped blocks and you can swap them out for the crimson blocks. But I think I'm just going to have one of each, so it'll make uh, both here. And this has a really cool system. Every now and then, it stops eventually, guys. And the redstone is much more simpler than what I was going to go for in a second. Any second now. It'll stop and flood everything away. There we go. It turns everything off, floods it all down there. So I'm going to make something very similar to this using these mechanics. I will link to this video um, in the description. And there's also a world download in his description of that video if you want to download this. And yeah, this is pretty cool, guys. So I'm going to pretty much use this um, design. Just change it up a little bit. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, guys. It's pretty cool. Now, I just want to show you this. This is so simple, I don't think I would have ever thought about it. This here detects when this when the when the grass here moves and then updates this and then makes this move. So you don't have to have any like weird timing circuits or anything. All you have to do is pulse this side over here and then you have uh, this here come in and out. And when it wants to turn off and have the the water come out, all it does is pull pull this piston back like this, as you can see. Because now it's not detecting the movement anymore. Well, it is detecting the movement, but it's not sending an update to this redstone. Then when it moves in there, it pulses it again, pushes it over, and restarts the whole system. So when this moves, it just uh, updates this, which updates this, and it just keeps going. It's fantastic. What a great design. I don't think I would have ever thought of that because it's so simple. And then we just have the bone mill um, over here coming into here. I don't know why he's got this double dropper system. I know you need two hoppers coming in to keep up with the timing, but... I am confused as to why he doesn't just have them coming straight into here at this height. Because you can't pick up the items through the blocks. So I'm not sure how that's happening, why that's happening. But um, yeah, I'm sure there's a reason for it. But I'm going to do mine right there. And yeah, let's try and build this, basically. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to build this in my testing world. That is very loud. Let's move away. I'm going to build that in my testing world. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Also, the stuff that we don't want, I'll probably put back into composters. But I think I pretty much want all of this. I mean, I don't know if I need 75,000 sprouts, though. That, would, that that seems a little bit silly. Alrighty, guys. I've been working on this for a while now. The timings are almost good. I mean, you can see it keeps moving a little bit after the water comes out. And I don't want to spend any more time on this. I think, uh, yeah, as you can see, it keeps moving a little bit afterwards and starts moving a little bit before. And we waste a tiny bit of bone meal there. But uh, I think this is pretty cool. I'm, I liked it. I think what I'm going to do is just pretty much do El Mango's design. Nobody beats the old Psycraft guys. They are just amazing at making all these redstone contraptions. So, yeah, anyways, what I'm going to do is find the off switch. Actually, I'm pretty sure there is no off switch. We just do this. That's not going to do anything, is it? This one, that's not going to do anything either. How do we how do we turn this on permanently? There we go. We just power all of that. 
there we go okay anyway as you can see it makes an absolute buttload of stuff here guys we get so much stuff coming through so yeah let's get back into our actual world and let's build this farm it's gonna be fantastic okay that's still going oh i don't know anyway it doesn't matter i'm not gonna build this but it was cool uh trying to do this but we are running out of time guys so let's get back into the world and start building this in the overworld somewhere so we can so we can use the water collection system that's pretty good okay this is gonna drive me insane you just stop all right right thank you okay guys it's actually quite nice to be out here in the overworld away from all the dinginess and the people trying to kill me just for opening chests and things like that what is that down there oh it's a sheep i thought it was a panda i was like what how did we get pandas here? Anyways, guys, this is the industrial district where a lot of our farms are built inside all of these buildings here. Um, so I think there is a little space here and a little space over there left um, in this in this place here. And I suppose there's a little bit of a gap down here. No, not really. Not really at all. Um, so we want to probably build the new tree farm and the, the new farm that we're working on today in these two areas. So that area is looking a little bit bigger. This might be where we put the tree farm because there's a bit more space here. So I think on this side, we will attempt to build this farm that we're looking at right now. So let's... Um, yeah, I suppose... No, we'll actually build this up in the sky. That will be more helpful to have the storage on this level instead of having to go underground to get to the storage like uh, that over there. So let's build it up there a bit. So let's crack on. I got a, I only need two pieces of this. Like one of this and one of this. But, you know, I brought it all. Anyways, we've got some redstone. we got some stuff. Let's get this together. We can get our redstone box out, which should be in here. We should have loads of awesome stuff in here that we can use. One dispenser we need. And a couple of other things. So, right, let's crack on with this. Alrighty, guys, first step is in. We have it all set out here. This has got water in it, so that's going to flow over nicely right to the edge here. We have the sign stopping the water. Oh, we got a bit of redstone down there. Uh, we need to put some water in this corner, actually, right there. That should flow over to there. Fantastic. I was going to put a sign there as well. I mean, I don't think we need that, but, you know, we'll just put it there anyway. And now we're stuck in here. What am I doing? Let, let, let me out of here, game. That should power that. How come that's not... How come that didn't pulse through the redstone there? Ah, uh, because this is a glass block. That's not going to work, my friends. We need to replace this with a proper block like this. And there we go. Okay, that should be working now. I'm not sure how we're going to get all of this uh, wired up. I have to go check the... Uh, check his uh, world download again. But we could push this in here just to test this. Um, and then that would go into a block here, go around there. I think that would work. Okay, let's, let's give this a go. Aha! Fantastic. Okay, that is working. That's great. Um, this is all going to turn to dirt under here, but that doesn't matter. It will grow on dirt or grass. I just think the grass looks better, so I put that in. But those blocks there will turn into dirt because they're underneath the water. Anyways, guys, let's carry on with the rest of this build. Alrighty guys, everything is now working apart from the bone meal and obviously there's no sorting system or anything But all this little redstone contraption -y thingy over here is a bit crazy But anyways guys that pushes that out there and then it sets this off in motion So after a little while we'll get a pulse the water will come out like so then the water will close up and then we'll start pulsing again there we go. All right, that is pretty damn awesome, guys. Okay, there is not enough items in here, though. That is for sure. Let's go over here, get the rest of these out. Please stop. That's going to break it. We need to put we need to put 64 in here. That should be pretty good. And there we go. Let's make... Oh, oh we've, we've fallen off. But anyways, guys, it is working. Uh, now we need to set up the mechanism and the filling station for this here. This bone meal... Uh, this dispenser has no bone meal in it, so... Let's get some bone meal, chuck that in here, get some hoppers about, and yeah, see what we can do. Um, I should have built this a little bit higher in the sky, because uh, now we're going to have uh, a very small sorting system going on here. But that's okay, we'll we'll figure it out. I think what we'll do is this hopper will probably get removed, and we'll just have a water system coming along here on top of hoppers. I'm not sure. This is all going to be a bit crazy, guys. But uh, yeah, let's let's figure that out after we fix up the bone meal situation. Okay, guys, we have a chest here that we can put bone meal into it. It's slowly leading out into the system. That should be enough to keep up with it now. You only need two hoppers, I believe, to keep up with that. 
So let's just curve a look. Yeah, that's full. We have that flowing in there and that flowing in there. Okay, very cool. That should be enough to keep up with that. Let's give this a test. Uh, where is the lever, my friends? Up there. Okay, I need to make myself a little staircase. And I've just taken everything out of my inventory so I can't make one. So we're going to have to go up on this staircase all the way over here. Could just fly up, but you know. We are going through a lot of rockets lately because of my pure laziness. Right, uh, let's see. There should be a lever right here. Oh, look at it go, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's turn that off. That's, uh, that's a lot of stuff. There we go. That should all flow into there, into that hopper. And that hopper will... Okay, pick up everything except for that for now. Okay. Let's grab that up. Holy heck, look what we got in just that short time. Okay, so we don't seem to get many crimson funguses, but we do have a lot of warped funguses. We have over double. That's crazy. And we got all these other things. I think you can get a couple of the other things as well, the uh, like the vines and things like that. But yeah, apart from that, it's all looking fantastic. Okay, on to the storage system. Okay, guys, we have a bit of a janky system going on here. The water comes along here from up there. It comes right along here, hits these. I can't remember if it's two or three that you need to put in here to make this line up. But um, usually you put like two chests along there, but that lines it up against this side for the hoppers. Um, if you want to line it up against the side that you're coming from like this, uh, you have to use the sea pickles. And I put two in there. I'm not sure if it's two or three. We'll check it in a minute. Anyway, I've put in a bunch of filters here, two for each. I don't think that's going to be enough, unfortunately, but that's sort of all the space that we have. So two of those and then two of those and then... Whatever else comes through, I guess we'll just chuck in this last hopper and maybe take the filters out. We'll see. Things are going to pour off the edge here, I believe, because I don't think this is enough. So maybe we have to make this go around the corner, but you can't really. We'd have to go around this corner about here. So I may have to redesign this a little bit. There's not enough room here, to be honest. I should have built this higher in the sky. But anyway, let's give it a quick test. How do we get over there? Build ourselves a little platform. There we go. Okay, should be making a bunch of stuff here, guys. I think it makes the... There's a few other things that this farm makes other than those, I think. Unless I'm completely wrong, but we'll soon find out. All right, let's, uh, let's turn it off. Push all those in there. Is that going to be enough hoppers to pick up everything? <laughs> that is a no. Oh my goodness. Look how far that stuff shot out. And look how much we lost. Okay, that is a problem, but it's only these we didn't pick up. So we did pick up exactly what we want, which are these here. We want the crimson fungus and the warped fungus. That's what we really, really want. So that's good. We must have filled up those filters then pretty quickly. Uh, no, we filled up this one though, and we filled up that one. Okay, very weird. It must have passed over these at, the, at a different tick. Okay, they all seem to come through at once, which is why... There's not enough of these to pick it up. Okay, I'm going to have to do a redesign, guys, but it was worth a try. Okay, guys, we've had a pretty big redesign here. We've gone all the way along here now. This should be enough. Okay, that, sh that should be enough testing for now. Give that a go. That should all slide over there nicely. All over there and everything. Okay. Oh, well, that's still not even close to enough, guys. That is insane. What the heck? How far away did those go? Okay, it is still just the the roots. Yeah, um, I have four hoppers up there collecting roots. What 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 more can I do, guys? What more can I do? Is it going too fast because of the ice? Maybe it's going too fast because of the ice. Oh dear, but it is going to fill up those very quickly because if they're all filled to 41, it's only a few slots that they have to fill and there's a lot of stuff coming down here. So maybe I need to make the timer really, really short. To, to go with this sorting system because right I have one two three and four and then I have four of these ones as well and yeah they're all full right now so they can fill up to 64 but that's it so yeah it's not actually going to be holding that many oh that is that is scary we can't really do any more than that because if you if you do this a different way you get it overflowed and it opens up different hoppers and things I mean what else can we do there's I still picked up 64 plus 17 crimson roots just then. I mean, that is insane. I think what we're going to have to do is sort it like that and send it around again. And then how do we... We're going to have to drop it in here somehow. That is... That is a bit crazy. Okay, well, I'm going to build this so it goes around in a circle. 
I'll be right back. I think I think that could be the best idea. That could work, couldn't it? Okay, guys, this has been a weird one, to be honest, but what we have right now is a big circle going all the way back around. I couldn't just drop it back in here, because that's what I tried first. I tried to bring this in back here, but it's not lining up with here, obviously, so we'd have to bring it in over there. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to wrap it all the way around. So it comes back around the corner there, comes all the way down here, and back into the stream. I dropped the stream down two blocks here, so... Um, yeah, it just drops all the way down in there now. Everything's looking cool. It should be working now. So what I want to do is put it on, let it run through its normal course, and then hopefully everything will be picked up by the time it comes back around again. So this goes on for quite a while. It's, it's quite a long, a long thing here. It makes a lot of noise and a lot of things. I'm, I think we're going to have to lessen the amount of items in this, in this hopper timer down here. But we will find out pretty soon. So yeah, all of that stuff is going to get flushed down into here. Should go around nicely. I want to make sure nothing's getting trapped and that we get rid of everything before the next cycle starts. That would be the plan. So as you can see, a lot of things are going to go past. Not the mushrooms and things, which is uh, the fungus, sorry. Oh, this starts up pretty damn quickly. Okay, I think this is going to have to go around twice. Oh my goodness, there were a few mushrooms in there actually. Okay, it's all going to come around. Come around again. This is insane. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely insane. Okay. That's... I mean, it's probably made enough already. This thing is so fast that we don't really probably need to run it more than twice. Let, let's have a look once this all gets flushed down. How many mushrooms we have? Oh, this is... This, this is a problem. This is a big problem. I'm going to reduce the amount of items in that hopper timer for sure, because it goes on much longer the second time. Yeah, that's that's a that's a big problem, guys. Picks up most of the mushrooms, though, I think. I'm not sure. Let's flush this thing. Okay, this is absolutely insane. This thing makes so many roots and things. I think we're only going to have to run it a few times, though. I mean, how, how many, like, mushrooms and stuff do we have? 63. I mean, how many do we really need? We don't need that much. Look at this, just continually flowing in. Oh, this is the most insane farm ever. Absolutely fantastic. And this one here is got no filter in it, so that's just picking up random stuff, this one at the end. I should, uh, I should probably turn that off. We should, um, how do we, how do we turn that off? Just, just get rid of this. There we go. Turn that hopper off there. Um, okay. Wow, that's pretty insane, guys. Are they still float? They're still floating around. Okay, well, the good the good news is we only need to run it a few times. But that is just insane. Alright, let's 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 halve the amount of items in here for a start. Apart from that, guys, I think that is a pretty much complete project. That is... <laughs> it's still going around. What the heck? That's insane. It makes way too many of these. Way too many of those. What are we going to use them for? Probably nothing. But yeah, anyway, apart from that, guys, that stuff's just going to probably go around in circles until it despawns. Will it despawn if it's moving? I don't know, to be honest. I think they still despawn when they're, when they're moving like that. Um, but anyways, guys, that is fantastic. We have a lot of mushrooms now, and we can get on to making a tree farm next next episode probably i'm not too sure i don't want to decide on that just yet but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this episode if you enjoyed it please hit the like button subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the very next episode